In the late 1600s, a gentleman named Isaac Newton proposed a thought experiment. He noticed that the faster an object moves laterally, the farther it travels until it hits the ground. Perhaps there is a speed an object could move such that it misses the ground. But yet since Earth is a sphere and it's always being pulled back to the surface, it continues to circle the Earth. How neat would it be if I could throw this ball around the Earth and catch it when it came back around? Today we have thousands of satellites that have reached orbit by moving at this speed, known as orbital velocity. Orbital velocity on Earth is about 7,700 meters a second, or 17,000 miles per hour. I'm not capable of throwing something that fast. But what about on other bodies in the solar system? I've heard that the moon has less gravity, so how fast would I need to throw a ball on the moon? Let's go. Although the moon does have less gravity, it's still pretty massive, requiring a ball to move at 1,700 meters per second, or 3,800 miles per hour. Unfortunately, that's still far too quick even for the fastest throwers. However, there are less massive moons in the solar system. Let's go. On Phobos, moon of Mars, a ball needs to move just 8 meters per second, or 18 miles per hour, to complete an orbit. This is achievable by most people. On Phobos, you could throw and catch a ball all by yourself. Perhaps you or your child will be the first person to throw that pitch. By extending Newton's thought experiment to space, we can find some interesting scenarios. I'm sure there are similar or more fascinating situations elsewhere. What's an example of an activity that can take place off the Earth that can't take place here? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Everything is connected in the cosmos. Sometimes it just takes some inspiration to figure it out. Thank you.